Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. We've talked in the past about how programs run. They're, of course, stored on your hard drive, and when you go to launch a program or an application, uh, it loads itself into memory, or basically the operating system puts it uh, into memory, and then from there it's running. Well, sometimes uh, these programs, when they're in memory, need to do things uh, and need to have space somewhere on the hard drive to do things there and uh, that's how temporary files are created. Um, they're temporary because th when the program's running it may be writing to a specific folder on your hard drive and then when it's done uh, as long as the program exits cleanly it should erase those temp files. Now sometimes when programs crash they don't have a chance to um, go back and clean up the temp files that were created when the program was first running before it crashed and when that happens you end up with a bloated temp files directory. And we have a community user Kyle asked this question. Hello Chris had a question just about temporary files. I was going through disk cleanup for the first time on my laptop and I saw that I have 8.21 gigabyte of temporary files from some of my programs. Is it safe to delete them? I would say that for the most part, uh, yeah. If Windows is telling you that there are files, temporary files, that are on your hard drive, it should be safe to delete them. My guess is that you are using the official Windows cleanup tool. In the past, we've talked about the free tool C Cleaner. Uh, but the disk cleanup tool that comes with Windows is just as good, and in some cases a little better because it's easier to use. When I launch my disk cleanup tool here inside of Windows Vista, uh, it tells me that I have 8.69 gigabytes of disk space being taken up by temporary files and files that Windows believes I don't really need. Now, this is not just temporary files that are sitting in my temp directory, but it also includes a variety of files, including uh, like plugins that I've made installed for Internet Explorer. Yes, I still use Maxon, which is an overlay, power user's overlay for Internet Explorer. It also includes the data inside of my recycle bin, and my guess is, is that's where most of your gigabytes of temporary files, even though they're not really temporary files anymore, than your recycle bin happen to be sitting. Now, the recycle bin theory, some people who are paranoid delete things automatically. They securely delete them you know, by basically not just throwing them into the recycle bin. That doesn't really delete them because the data could still be unerased from the hard drive with certain utilities. But uh, I always keep my recycle bin full, as full as it can get, because there's been times that I've deleted something or recycled something only to ha want it back for some reason or another, and then I've gone into the recycle bin to recover it. If I empty the recycle bin, uh, then of course that's going to be a little more difficult to retrieve the data that has been recycled, e even if uh, it was done with the normal Windows operations. So if you want to free up disk space and you really need the space, empty your recycle bin, that's going to get rid of most of your temporary files. It is a good thing though, every once in a while, to clean up your temporary directory. Uh, my guess is, is that your temp folder, temp directory, is absolutely full. I'm sorry, I, my mind still hasn't made the transition between directory and folder, even though I've been using folders for the past, oh, 10 years. Uh, they're pretty much one and the same. They're essentially locations designated by the operating system on where files and folders or subdirectories have to be located. Uh, but it, it's good. Use this tool that comes with Windows. You can put check marks uh, in the boxes that uh, next to the items that you care to delete. You can also erase with this tool thumbnail files that are created by the Windows Explorer inside of directories or folders that have photos in them. If you, it'll free up, well, in my case, 403 megabytes worth of space. Um, but of course the lion's share of that uh, wasted space is being taken up by the recycle bin and at that point I really I just keep things running in there if you just want to delete uh, running I, I mean I keep things stored in there not running there nothing's running in the recycle bin um, there is a temporary files option in this disk cleanup tool and it'll say right there temporary files and the way it explains it, programs sometimes store temporary information in a temp folder. Before a program closes, it usually deletes this information. So it pretty much reiterates what I told you at the beginning of the video. Now we're going to try something new since we just got a, a new sponsor for the videos. Well, they've kind of been around for a while, but they're really, really happy now. GoDaddy. 
Uh, if you haven't seen the logo rotating next to chat, uh, if you come into the chat room, you can get a discount on your next GoDaddy registration. Um, but we're going to do a poll. We can do a live poll. We've, we've done it before, but I'm going to try to do it with every single video. So right now, I set the poll as, is it safe to clean temp files? And the options are either yes, kill them, or no, hold on to them just in case. And 88% of the chat room right now says yes, kill them. So Kyle, if you're going by the chat room, they're saying it's cool. People, as long as you're not going and deleting files and you're not sure you're safe to delete, you shouldn't be deleting them using a tool like uh, the tool that comes with Windows. And for the most part, you should be okay. So we've taken the poll. We've told you about the GoDaddy. Uh, I guess all we got to do tell you now is where to participate. And that's at our website, live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.